Hey, I'm Michael Costa with BPM Supreme, and welcome to another episode of Software Spotlight. In this episode, we're taking a look at a brand new DAW from Serato that is particularly aimed, of course, at DJs. It is an entry-level DAW called Serato Studio. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are inside Serato Studio. And the first thing I need to put out there is the disclaimer that this is the beta version. Serato Studio has not yet been publicly released. And so we are using the beta version, which means, of course, that there are certain functionalities and features that are not working correctly just yet. But there are a lot of things that are working fine. And so let's start with that and taking a look. So as you can see, the interface looks very familiar to that of Serato DJ Pro, which is great because Serato has really targeted Serato Studio at the beginner producer, aspirational kind of guy, or the DJ that's looking to get into music production. This is really right up their alley because it has a familiar looking environment, which makes it easy to get things started right away. If we look in the middle here, you can see right away, it's got a DJ style uh, mixer. So you have your fader here for volume on this particular deck. You have a gain knob, you have a three band EQ, you have a filter which functions as a low pass and high pass filter. So as you turn to the left, it's low pass. As you turn to the right, it then triggers the high pass filter. So again, something very similar that you see on a lot of DJ mixers and DJ controllers. So if you have something like the Pioneer DDJ SZ series, uh, certain controllers from Denon, Numark, as well as the Roland DJ 808, 505, and 202, those are all supported right now. And a lot of the pads and knobs that are on these specific DJ controllers are already pre-mapped to a lot of the functions here within Serato Studio. If you want to find out more, you can go to the Serato Studio site to see exactly which controllers are currently supported. You also have the ability to add suggestions as to which controllers you feel they should be supporting. And you also have the ability to see where the knobs on your specific controller are pre-mapped to, which allows you to, I believe, you can then remap them to other functionality. But it's pretty cool that right away out of the box, the pads for triggering cue points are already mapped to Serato Studio for triggering samples, EQ knobs, effects, and things like that. So right up at the top, Again, we're looking at the drum sequencer and it uses a very old school style TR step record mode, which is easy for inputting notes. So simply just click on these little cells here and right when you hit play, it starts to play the sound back. So really, really simple to use. You have eight cells on the side for drum samples. You can of course add your own, but I will say that Serato Studio does come with a good amount of factory content that includes pre-mapped drum kits, sampled instruments, and individual one-shot samples. Now let's talk about working with samples. It does have a sampler and obviously Serato initially got into the production market when they first released Serato Sample, which was a VST and audio units plugin that worked inside of all major DAWs for chopping up and controlling samples the same way that you would in Serato DJ Pro using the cue points. So let's grab a sample down here. And before I drop it in, you'll notice up here that you have the ability to choose the key. So you can choose your tempo here, and you can also set the key that your particular song or remix is gonna be in. So let's say our particular remix is gonna be in F minor. Anything that we drop in as far as samples, loops and things like that will automatically adjust to match that particular key. So this loop down here that we're gonna drop in is in the key of G sharp. So if we drop it right into this section here, now we have a sampler that's loaded up and you can see it on the left side here and you'll notice that it has two sync buttons. One sync is for the tempo and one sync is for the key. If we take the sync off the key, you can see there that it's in G sharp minor. And if we lock it in key, it then adjusts it to match whatever we have up here. So we can put F minor. So let's listen to it without the sync. Okay, so you can hear it's in G sharp minor and our song is in F minor that we're working on. So if I was to click sync here, automatically switches the key. 
So that is really great because again, if you're brand new to music production, chances are you probably don't know much about music theory and that's okay. Now with throttle sample here, we can also add cue points here. So you can see we can trigger different cue points on it. But the other thing that's really cool here is that there's a little keyboard icon here. Now, if we switch this on, that means now that we can play one of these slices chromatically across the keyboard range. Now let's talk about adding your own plugins. So again, if we go down to the plugins section here, we can look at everything that we have and you can also simply do a search. So if we want to load something up, let's type in serum. There we go. And we can simply grab it, drop it here. All right, so there is serum with a preset loaded and we can trigger it from our keyboard here. And this is what I wanna show you. This is the play and key function. Now, what this means is no matter what keys I play, it will all be within a relative key that works with D sharp minor. So this is really cool because you can essentially play a melody and no matter what, you're gonna be working within the relative key. You don't have to worry about hitting the wrong key. And this works with chords as well. So let's try this out. Let's switch off playing key and I'm gonna simply play a chord And let's play it against the vocals. So you can see that it's not working because those chords are not relative to D sharp minor. So let's switch playing key on again and let's do that same chord structure again and let's see if it works. So you can see now those chords actually work with these vocals and they're all within the scale of D sharp minor. So again, if you don't have a whole lot of musical background, music theory, it's not a problem. Serato Studio has these functions built in, which really eliminate a lot of those roadblocks and let you create music. And that's really what it's all about. All right, so here's a full on project that I put together because I wanted to go through the experience of actually creating a beat myself. I've been producing for over 25 years, so I'm used to more of a linear type sequencer. I come from, you know, the DAW applications such as Logic, Pro Tools and Ableton, but I wanted to see what I could create in here. And I got to say, it's pretty simple and straightforward and I got some pretty cool results. All right, so I have all of my scenes lined up and this is now my entire song. Now, as I said before, this is the beta version. So typically you're supposed to click on master here and then you get a waveform view of the entire, of what the entire song looks like. And then you can go and export your song. You can also see that there is an actual little transport here to hit play, I'm assuming. And that would play it from here so that you could actually hear what the entire song sounds like. And then you could rearrange scenes if needed. But this is grayed out and as you can see here the master waveform view is coming soon so this is not active yet so let's go back to our scenes here and let's just play it manually so that you can see what's happening and what it sounds like hey. All right, so what are my final opinions on Serato Studio? I think Serato has done a really great job in really targeting that aspirational beginner producer, especially if he's a DJ barely looking to go into production. I think they've done a really great job in implementing a very familiar interface. And again, Serato Studio is still in beta. It is not publicly available. 
but I think that Serato has definitely gone in the right direction. They are onto something great here, and I can't wait to see what else gets added to Serato Studio. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below here so that you're constantly up to date with all the latest software spotlights from BPM Supreme. My name is Michael Costa from BPM Supreme, and thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.